Hello and welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials. Well, um, I believe someone is asking, why is this smile? I think I have this question coming over and over. So how do we get to solve this question? How do we solve this question? Well, when I looked at it, it was more like it was a brain teaser. All right, so now, how do we get to solve this question? The question says, a running man has one half the kinetic energy that a running boy of half his mass has. The man speeds up by one meter per second and then has the same kinetic energy as the boy. What were the, uh, were the original speeds of the man and the boy? Well, so what we see here is that even in the first statement, uh, we have to come up with uh, about two equations. We need to come up with two equations. So here, it's about coming up with equations from the statements that we have been given. So let's say, um, okay. So let's have a running man has one half the kinetic energy of a boy. Yeah? So first, what we're going to have is the kinetic energy of the man is half the kinetic energy of the boy. All right, from the first statement, that is what we have there. And we are told also that a running boy of half his mass has. So meaning that the mass of the boy, the mass of the boy is also half the mass of the man. All right, so what I'm going to say is mass of the boy, BMB, and mass of the man, let it just be M, and um, the speed of the boy. VB, while the speed of the man, the VM. All right. After establishing that, then now, what am I going to have? From equation, the first equation that I, I wrote, what I'm going to have, I'm going to have this. The kinetic energy of the man. We know that kinetic energy is half mv so we have half right m v squared being equal to half kinetic energy of the ball which will be m v v squared like that all right so now i'm saying half m v m squared equal to, equal to what? Equal to half, times we have a half inside, and the mass of the boy, remember from this, the mass of the boy is half the mass of the man. So I'm going to have also half mass of the man, which is just M, and VB squared, all right? So now, what am I going to have? I can cancel one half M like that. So I'm going to have the velocity of the man being got one quarter of the velocity of the boy. So that is my first equation. All right. And then I go to the second statement. Now, the second statement says, the man speeds up by one, one meter per second and then has the same kinetic energy as the boy. So we see that the man, excuse me, 
the speed of the man, all right? The speed of the man now becomes his initial speed plus one. He has added one meter per second to their speed. And after doing that, that is when he has the kinetic energy equal to the to that of the boy. So the same kinetic uh, energy equation, what we're going to have is for the man, we have that. So this is uh, man Vm, sorry. We have that being equal to the kinetic energy now of, uh, of the boy, which is half. And the mass of the boy, we know that is half m in relation to that, the mass of the man. Half m and v squared, like that. All right? So what we're going to have, what we're going to have is, okay, so we cancel again that and that. And what we're going to have is, Vm plus one squared equal to half Vb squared. All right. So now we have these uh, two equations that we need now to solve. So how do we solve now? So we can just divide these two equations. Dividing equation one by equation two. So what are we going to have when we divide? When we divide, we're going to have Vm squared equal to one over four Vb squared over, here it's Vm one squared over one over two Vb squared. All right. So we can see that that half and that half goes. And then what are we going to have? We're going to have one quarter over, um, over half. It is more like we are going to have a half there. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like this, one over four divided by half, which is one over four times two. So there are one, there are two. So we're going to have that. So we're going to have Vm squared over Vm plus one squared being equal to half. So I'm going to square root both sides to get rid of, of the squares. And what I'm going to have, so what I'm going to have here now is that I'm going to have Vm over Vm plus one equal to one over root two. All right, so now we get to solve this one. So we're going to have Vm, all right? Vm being equal to one over root two times Vm plus one. So the mass, the speed of the man, value two pm plus one over root two. So we have uh, common values here. Okay, so I'm going to take it the other side. So what I'm going to have, I'm going to have pm, I'm going to bring this one here, Vm equal to one over root two. So I can factor out my Vm and then I have that. Okay, so Vm it's going to be one over two over one minus 
number two. So V arm, once you find this one, what you're going to have here something 2.414 meter per second. That was the, the speed of, uh, of the man. Now you take this and put it into those two equations, either equation one, or equation two, to get that one. So let's put it into equation one, where we have um, v squared equal to half a quarter in the first equation. Sorry, the first equation, quarter of that of the boy. So we have uh, boy. So I can square both sides, square root both sides, I mean, so that I have that being equal to one over two VB. Or in other words, I have Vb being equal to two Vm. So we found already the mass of, uh, sorry, the speed of the man. So the speed of the boy is going to be two times the speed of the man. And what I'm going to have is 4.828 meter per second. That is the speed of the man, and that is how we get to calculate uh, that one. Well, you've understood, right? So it is how you structure or come up with equations that is going to help you. So you need to be good at making equations out of just statements. Then you'll be good with physics, happiness, understanding physics. You need to be in love with physics. All right, have you found this video to be helpful? Of which I know that it has been so helpful to you. Kindly give me the reaction. Like, love, comment, give me feedback. You know, I read your comments and see where we need to improve. And you can as well share with others so that they may be able to benefit. If you've not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe and make your colleagues subscribe to this channel so that you benefit as well. All right, thank you so very much.